You know the vibes. It's Jay. Hand me the lighter, I'm about to get litter than a bitch. Big, big period. Are you serious? These hoes are acting all delirious, and I ain't. You know the vibes. What's going on, J Squad? Plum Squad, it's, it's Jay. your Jay. You already know. Welcome back to J Bobs, where there's a whole lot of great vibes going on, big period today you guys i am going to just chit chat a little bit with you we're actually going to go take a ride and then we're going to come back and get dirty in the kitchen before we do please make sure you are subscribed to all of my channels i have three in total all three are very important to me this channel you know is not limited to just one thing i do all things and anything on this channel my reaction channel is very 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 important to me because i built that channel from zero subs no videos no promo no nothing so that channel means the most to me and i actually got that channel up to i believe like 2,000 subs and it's also monetized so please make sure you subscribe to that channel and then my fitness channel it means a lot to me as well because it just shows you know my dedication to my fitness and I'm still working on my own body goals and I know there's a lot of petite women like me that just don't necessarily want the fat ass we want to ask but they ain't gotta be fat like i just feel like petite women are more realistic with their body you know what i mean because we're just trying to be happy and feel comfortable and feel grown and look sexy with what we have so i'm working on that channel i have not put out no content it's oh i don't even want to say it's been such a long time but you can definitely just you know still support me on that channel as i try to get together so just make sure all your bells are turned on for all channels you guys especially this one all notifications for when i post videos give my videos a like comment love feedback down below again i may not comment to all comments but i definitely see your comments and share my content um i put up a video late last night just because honestly i let yesterday get the best of my day which didn't even make it the best day that i thought it would be and i'm totally to blame for that i definitely blame myself for that and i very much dislike myself for it uh, i was talking to my cousin last night you know she wanted to know how my day had went and i was like you know it just wasn't what i planned it to be and it's all my fault um i just really allow my thoughts and my feelings to get the best of me i shut down and if you know then you know and um it created like a, a mood between me and babe and i dislike myself for that as well because you know i definitely be trying to take advantage of all the moments that i'm here but you know we can't try to just sugarcoat shit and just just because i'm bella it's okay never try to like sugarcoat shit fake shit for anything i don't care if it is a long distance relationship or if you guys do live together or you know, whatever the situation may be, you should never like try to do any of that. But this battery is dying, so just one second. All right, I'm back. So, you know, at the end of the night, I mean, the whole taco and tequila was great. And I just started to get in this mood at the movies. Um, I didn't see the movie that I wanted to see just because of, you know, time restraints. And honestly, our server, the bartender, who sit at the bar, she was just like, dragging her foot when we got in there it was only two tables but then it's kind of like they started getting busy because i guess everybody was getting off work but she was just dragging her foot with everything making our drinks giving us our shots our food we had to send our fries back to, to get them fresh and you know i was just like you know what we're going to the movies so it was a couple of movies that i wanted to see we ended up going to go see jackass i did not know they were going to show their penis so much they show their penis so much in that movie it's ridiculous but they're jackasses right and then yeah we got back here and i was just in total shutdown mode and something that i've always have known and know today is that I need to work on my communication, but Bay was so like, she's just so patient and she is still so kind, even when we're not, you know, on the happiest terms. I'm not gonna say not on good terms because nothing is never bad with us. It just be like, yo, you making me upset. You know, in the kindest, sweetest, nicest way, you know, she was just like, work on your communication, please. And I really hope that my soul, I don't even know if my soul needs to feel it or my mind needs to hear it. 
but they need to get it together because I swear I be trying. I tried. Today is a new day, you guys. I am going to get myself together. I haven't even brushed my teeth. So I'm going to be making a stuffed chicken with cream cheese and spinach stuffed inside the chicken. And I'm going to be making mashed potatoes from scratch. And I'm also going to be making a spicy cabbage. Now, where did I get this recipe from? You know, everything happens for a reason, you guys. And I am a strong believer on that. And I actually have it tatted on my leg. So I'm a strong believer everything happened for a reason. And I was just scrolling through um youtube just to like get some reaction video ideas Ari the Don, she was cooking you know she has a youtube channel and i am subscribed to her channel but this is like a mo like this is like this is like a really recent video i think two weeks she put this video out but she was in the kitchen cooking i was like damn that shit look good that shit sound good i never made cabbage on my own before um i'm used to like when i see my family cook cabbage they'll put like some fat back in there <laughs> And you know, they'll let the cabbage simmer down and all that kind of stuff. But she actually put like peppers and onions and you know, seasoning and things like that, other than just pepper. So I was like, I wanna do something new. Um, so I'm gonna go get some chicken breast, some cream cheese, some spinach. I need a red pepper, green pepper, jalapenos. I need some red potatoes. I think they got butter. I'm just double check. I need like heavy cream, I need chicken broth. I don't think Bay has parmesan. No, I need mozzarella cheese. I'm not sure Bay has mozzarella cheese, but I have the whole list of things that I need wrote down. So that is what I wanted to come and chit chat with you guys about. I am about to just straighten up a little bit in the living room, get in the shower, get dressed. Bella, you need to do something, baby girl. Thank you so much for all of you guys' positive feedback on my last video. All of your prayers, I definitely do greatly appreciate it and you know i'm just gonna i'm gonna have to just take it day by day i'm really not still trying not to overthink everything but you know my appointment is coming up um, i have to work both jobs that day i gotta go in my part-time job at 10 i get off at like 2 and then i gotta go to my full-time job at 3 and i don't get off until like maybe 8 30 9 o'clock ish it'll be another you know update about what's going on with this jelly ball i like to call it a jelly ball because it feels like a jelly bean but no matter how small it is you know it's scaring the fuck out of me it's creating a big scare attack i'm not gonna say fear because i have faith over fear and you know Bay has these words on the wall faith and hope and i just kept looking at that last night while i was in my mood and also when i was talking to my cousin last night you know she was just saying like this was the perfect day or yesterday was the perfect day to manifest and pray and just you know we talk about things like that and i was like damn you're right because i had all the time yesterday early in the day to take advantage of the beautiful day that it was outside and it still is a beautiful day outside today but i had all the time yesterday to just you know go outside and just listen to the the leaves the wind the birds the dogs whatever nature was giving it was that type of day to just take in whatever nature was giving and to manifest and pray but you know she was like it's, it's not too late it was like 11 33 when i looked at the time after she said and i was like mm, it ain't too late so i took some moments to myself to just close my eyes and pray and when i opened my eyes i just kind of felt like so i was sitting on the couch watching uh, i don't know if you guys are watching on netflix anna invented or inventing anna some shit like that it's a really good series i definitely recommend you to watch it i just recently finished watching the last kingdom so fucking good and so i was just sitting there it, it was like 1 30 in the morning and i wasn't in the bed and babe came out she was like are you gonna come to bed and i'm like yeah i'm just not tired and she was like okay that's fine i'm like no i'm coming because i did need to lay down or i was gonna spend all day today resting and my sleep would have been off when i would have been trying to put myself to sleep so i got in the bed and sleep went to sleep you know just instantly felt like but let me get dressed let me smell good because i smell like sleep let me take this shot though. So I'm dressed. I am ready to walk out the door. I just took Bella outside. She ran around like she was freaking a maniac. Crazy. You wanna get brushed? Come on. You want some spray spray? Wanna smell good, girl? Ooh. Yeah, she do. Come here.
There you go, pretty girl. Okay, so I can't help myself but to go to Burlington Goodwill and TJ Maxx before I go to Publix because it's right here. I hope you don't sleep on Burlington, but Burlington be having some really good shit. But Burlington is not open yet. It must be a new store. We're gonna see what's in TJ Maxx. First thing I come through, look, this is so pretty. I'm not in here for prices, I'm here for clothes. But I ain't gonna lie, if I see a nice purse, I might cop that bitch. You can never go wrong with some luggage. I need luggage. Maybe. Oh, Bay will love this. Y'all, Bay loves flamingos. Fun fact, FYI. She loves flamingos. I'm about to send her a picture of this. <laughs> Be like, look, Bay. I love this one. Even though the airport will fuck this shit up, my shit would be so dirty and so dingy. But this is really cute. <gasps> This is so pretty. $70. Is it worth it? Luggage? Hard luggage like that? It's not like super hard, but I think it's, I think it's worth it. I think, oh, this is so pretty. Oh my gosh. $60? That is so nice. I definitely recommend you guys, if you ever get luggage like if you're going luggage shopping get the hard luggage because the airport be fucking your shit up but i gotta send Bay a picture of this so when i was in high school like the brown oversized like go over your shoulder but like hang all the way down to your damn knee that was the thing back then that was i used i died to get one so i used to work at tj maxx and when i found me one I got me one for sure this is really pretty but I'm not like a book bag bag type of girl I'm sure this would look really really cute with some type of outfit but I'm trying to like dip and dab into fashion because I'm not I wasn't brought up on fashion it was like bitch this is what you got this is what you wear this is what you gonna have big period but this is cute I love colors. I don't think you guys know that, but I love colors. If I see a cute black purse, I'm gonna get it. But because I already have a black purse, I'm gonna look for a black purse. I have black, I have like a burnt orange, not like a neon orange like that. I have a Michael Kors all gold, which was a gift from my dad's friend. But I'm not into like beige and pink. I'm into colors, so that, that green and this purple is really cute. I just have nothing to go with this, but it's really cute. So let me get out of this and let me look at something different. I, I love rings. I don't wear enough rings. I don't even have any rings except for this one that my mom got me, but I'm really into jewelry. Speaking of jewelry, I got to get Bae some charms for her Pandora bracelet. I want to get her, shh, it's a secret. Maybe I can't say it because she might watch the video. I gotta get her some charms before she leaves for Italy. I don't know if you guys know, but Bay is going to Italy in November. She leaves, she's stationed at a new place in in November. And I'm nervous because I'm gonna miss her like fuck. And those flights are not cheap. Those flights are expensive as fuck. Oh my god, it's a flamingo hat. Bay will love this. <laughs> you guys. I found a necklace with the letter J for $12. Look, oh my God. I love it, it's pretty as fuck. I need a cart, I need to go get a buggy. You know I'm big J around this bitch, big period. So I'm in this pet owl. And I'm thinking about Pixie and I'm like, ooh, I wanna get Pixie a new bed. I wanna get Pixie like a container for her food. Not necessarily that one, it was a way cuter one that I seen. 
But Pixie is very ungrateful. She does not appreciate when I give her nice things. I literally got Pixie new bowls and a mat. And you know that she doesn't appreciate it. She will not eat out the bowls. So I had to go back to putting her food just on the mat that I have. And I had to get her old drinking water bowl from my dad's house. And she drinks out of that. I'm in this aisle like, ooh. I want to get Pixie this, that, and the third, but she don't appreciate it. But I really want to get her these socks. I really want to get Pixie these socks because I hate hearing her feet on my floor. And I don't, like, she don't like the floor. So maybe if I get her these socks, she'll appreciate it. Pixie's not gonna appreciate anything because she's a spoiled fucking brat like her mom. And I don't blame me, I blame my parents. But I'm gonna get her these socks, period. I So we got that out the way, some impulsive shopping out of the way. I spent $80, I did really good, and I got like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I got like maybe eight items for $80, so I did really good. And 45% of the stuff was on clearance, so I did a really good job. Um, now I'm about to head over to Publix and go get the grocery stuff so I can cook. Green pepper, red pepper, white onion, chicken broth, red potatoes, heavy cream, butter, parmesan cheese, garlic, salt, what I think they already got. I need witch hazel, which is probably not here, but I'm not gonna knock it, and some cotton balls. So, I wanna get based on flowers too. Because the roses that we have for Valentine's Day are dying. So I think they need some pretty bright flowers. Let's get her some flowers. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm, I'm considerate. I love it. 
I've been eating bay chips. You too, thank you. So I'm gonna get her some chips because I've been eating the fuck out of her chips. I know she'll appreciate me for that. Nah, I ain't conceited. I'm a different breed. Catch you slipping, best belief. I don't need no reason. I'ma cut the ties, ho. Turn your wife to my ho. Just focus on you, baby girl. <laughs> J vibes. You know the vibes. You know the fuck going on. And I'm at this bitch.